Immediately I saw their garden, I thought of introducing them to this business idea. Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Beautiful morning, afternoon and evening depending on where you are at this moment. Okay, it's been a while and presently, as at the time of making this video, I was in Enugu State. I came for a physical training and the training was a success. So a family that has been following me on my channel, I uh, heard that I'm in Enugu State. They called me over to their place. And when I came, I saw their garden. Okay. And this is their aloe vera uh, plant. They have so much aloe vera. There is another place they have aloe vera too. That one is just, just like aloe vera plantation. Okay. But this is the one presently where they are living. And I said, what? Why are they allowing the aloe vera to waste? Some of them are dried. Some are... You know very very dried some are rotting so i said okay let's see what will happen immediately i collected the knife i started harvesting the aloe vera cutting the aloe vera strands from the ones that are spoiling from the ones that are down that within the next day they're going to dry up or they're going to rotting on the ground so after harvesting i proceeded with the uh, dry net they also dried i also told them to dry uh papaya they know about that i also told them to dry plantain and banana because they have been following me so they have this idea of drying them hoping that one day they will add it to their soap but they didn't know how to so this is the aloe vera plant um i harvested okay can you see this strand big i have aloe vera plant in lagos the ones i have they don't you know multiply like this so i thought of when i'm going back to lagos i'm going to take some of their own to plants and see what will happen if it will be different from the ones i have in lagos okay now this is the aloe coming from the aloe vera after keeping it for like 30 minutes okay you know the aloe is supposed to be yellow but here I, I didn't drop it down i didn't face the plant down the cut part down that is why the aloe vera is you know packing up in one place like this so this is like 30 minutes of harvesting it and the aloe has um come out of it so you're going to proceed by washing the aloe vera we washed it thoroughly like four times the first time you washed it the water was very very dirty this is me pouring the aloe vera into a bigger bowl a bigger uh, container and one of the daughters were asking me what would you do with all this aloe vera are you going to make soup for us we do not have the ingredients yet we just called you to you know say hi to see you okay well i told them that we are going to dry the aloe vera so this is uh when we are washing the aloe vera this is the first time we are washing it okay i want to talk about this rubber band on my wrist people have asked me why do i always have rubber band on my wrist i don't know but i always have rubber band in, in case i want to tie something or hold something okay so this is the water we used to wash it the first time you washed it the second time and we washed it the third time we also washed it the fourth time now this is the whole aloe vera and um, we started by slicing them into tiny pieces okay the aloe vera was much it was much this is with me with one of the daughters we are still cutting it there are so many benefits of aloe vera i'm going to drop it on the screen for you to read some of them and see that if you need to add it to your soup or to your skincare product it's very very good it's good for bone in case you are in enugu about, about to be precise and you needed aloe vera for your production please contact me just tell me i'm going to give you the address you go there and buy your aloe vera as many quantity as you want they're going to supply to you wherever you are in the east and also had customers that had the uh, oil bonds on their skin, oil pod on their skin, on their baby skin, the children's skin. They used aloe vera soap and it's cleared within a week. Okay, so aloe vera plant is very, very good for the skin. So this is me under the sun trying to spray it. One thing I like about this Enugu sun is that the sun is so, 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 it's harsh. And within hours, what you dried has under the sun has dried completely okay though the aloe vera didn't dry up completely that particular day i dried it for two days now this is the, the first day i dried the aloe vera can you see almost all the water has um evaporated okay can you see but we still need to dry it again and this is the second this is the second uh, day of drying it that's dried completely i will tell them what to do they'll grind it to powder 
and store it or send it to me to use and make soups for them because we're about to hit a contract yes all right so thank you everyone for watching see you in my next video bye